Okay, I'm going to uh, do another demonstration of the sequestration of carbon dioxide. So I have a canister with a carbon dioxide capsule. I'm going to fill this bottle on the right with CO2. And CO2 is a pretty heavy gas, and so it will tend to stay in this bottle. Just to make sure it's really full. To get another capsule and do it again. It's cold, very cold. There's a little bit of condensation because it's so cold, it's condensing the water vapor. Let's assume that's filled. And now I'm going to add 10 grams of sodium hydroxide in 100 milliliters of water. Put the cap on nice and tight. Just give it a little swirl. So my first side should react with the carbon dioxide. And we'll just watch it collapse as we pull the carbon dioxide out of the vapor phase and gas phase. So we're sequestering the carbon dioxide, changing it from carbon dioxide and sodium hydroxide to sodium bicarbonate aqueous. And we have the one on the left, which doesn't have the treatment. So let's let that go and we'll make it into a video. It goes faster if you swirl it, but I would like to see it do it on its own. Again, this is not a practical way to sequester carbon dioxide because sodium hydroxide is a little expensive and I got the sodium hydroxide at uh, a hardware store. It's lye, and it uh, is used to clean drains that get clogged up. And then I have these CO2 canisters and this little gun, which you can get at a sports store, you know. Oh, it's quite, quite creakling. Every so often, I'll give it just a little swirl.
Let's give it a little more. Pretty dramatic. Now the reaction is exothermic and I can feel the warmth of the solution. Even though sodium, I mean carbon dioxide is coming out of the air, that kind of reduces, lowers the entropy. The exothermicity drives the reaction so that it has a negative delta G. It's a very spontaneous reaction. Now be careful when you clean this up that there was an excess of sodium hydroxide in the solution. So it'll be kind of basic. You don't want to burn your fingers or Okay, so I hope you can use that in your classes. Thank you for your attention and I'll see you next time.